Well, hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. Just had to show you that four leaf clover that Jennifer found before we plant the fig tree that Jennifer brought. It's all about Jennifer today. Found that tree at a good price, so I thought, why not take it to Dad's? Yeah, we decided we were gonna plant it. The fig tree, when I looked it up, grows anywhere from 15 to 30 feet tall and 15 to 30 feet wide, actually. So I found a good spot away from the cabin and also away from the little outhouse that we can plant because it needs to be where it can drain really well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll pop us a hole in the ground right here and put our fig tree in. Yeah, it says that it doesn't like the alkaline, um, so I'm not going to use any of the wood ash that I saved to put around it as fertilize. Well, we got the little fig tree in the ground. We got it watered. And Jennifer said, looks like the leaves are standing back up because they were drooping a little. So that means it's happy as a pig. In slop. In slop. Now, for those of you that might wonder, this is a brown turkey fig. There's lots of different varieties of fig. Um, this one is not as sweet as others are. Um, and according to some of the research, it said that it kind of tastes a little bit um, kind of like hazelnut. It has, and, and maybe a few other nuts. But uh, anyway, we're thinking about, I've got some pecans, came from my sister's house. I've got some walnuts. I've also got some black walnut that's up there. And I want to get some apple trees and possibly a pear tree. We've tried other fruits like uh, peaches, but they don't really go over well here in Tennessee. We're not far enough south uh, because they always are affected by the frost. Um, but the other trees, you know, they are native. Apple trees are, are really native. I actually picked apples. One of my first jobs as a, a preteen, I guess you would say, um, during the summertime. And I think the next year I picked tomatoes. And then the following year I picked uh, worked in tobacco. You know, that's the way kids used to do. During the summertime when they were out, of course, we always had three months. It wasn't like it is now where they've only got two months, but the kids were expected to work during the summertime to make enough money to buy school supplies and buy school clothes. And if you were old enough to drive, buy tires and oil and gas for your cars and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that was one of my first jobs was uh, picking apples. So guess what? YouTube knew that before I did, apparently. <laughs> Could you see the shocked look on my face? Yeah. So we're going to give the little fig tree a shot here and see if it'll grow. And um, I'll probably end up putting some more poles in here because my blackberries, let me show you the blackberry vines. They're just popping out of the ground everywhere. I got a vine that I pulled up off the ground right there because I was mowing in here. Here's one. Here's one. There's... Uh, well, that one's actually coming out of the ground right there. And then this one is coming out of the ground here too. It appears like I planted it over here by the stump. But I'll have to go down and get some more cane before I can actually extend that to be able to tie the rest of those up. But Jennifer said that she had to go. Yep, got to get home to my family. Anyway, so I was waiting for it to get a little bit cool on the other side of the cabin, or the sun to get on this side actually, so I can take you over there and show you what my next project is. 
Well, I've got a small assortment of some of the things that I thought that I might need. I've got some cutoff valves, some T's, some elbows, some couplings. Got some end caps so that once I get all this run, I can actually cap the end, pressure it up, and leave it for a while and see if I lose any pressure. Um, got a couple of 10 foot links here. Got a six, a two over there, a two here, uh, a 16 right here. This primarily is gonna be when I turn and come down because my line will come out of the ground here and I'll have a regulator on top of that so I can't get too tall or too long with that. Um, but the thing is, is I'm not able to cut pipe and thread it so I just kind of have to piecemeal it together. That's the reason I've got these couplings and so forth. But I think, let me show you what I'm gonna do. Try not to step on my new grass here, but there will be a T right here where this actually goes into the cabin. Um, so this is going to come off of it and it will go to right about there. Then I have this one which will connect to there. I do have a post that's run in here. So I have to get past that post, which I am. So once I come up out of the ground, make a turn, I'll have a T right here where I can feed the gas range that I've got in there. Then I'll run on down, like I said, I'll have to uh, turn and go down to go in under, so that's where my elbows will come in handy, and then be able to turn and go in underneath uh, the cabin. Once I'm under there, I'll take um, a 10-foot section, run it over, I'll put a T on that, and then I'll turn and go down with another 10-foot section towards where the stove is. So once I enter the cabin, I'll be able to get over to where the on-demand hot water heater, the uh, refrigerator is and so forth so I think I've got what I need to do and then my friend is coming to help me bury it underground with a different uh, type of pipe what they actually use to come up where I'm actually going to move these tanks I'm going to store them out there at the carport and get them away from the cabin I'll probably end up putting some sort of hook up here that way I can back the truck up or pull it in like I've got it be able to uh, pull up on the tank and get it manipulated where I can get it down and set it over there. And then the other thing is I'll probably take a couple of two by sixes, I'll put them in between these two posts. That way I can uh, slide my tanks up there and go ahead and tie them off. That way they'll be secure. So I think that's what the plan's gonna be. Well friends, I hope that you enjoyed watching Jennifer and I plant that fig tree and hopefully we can get uh, some more fruit type trees uh, going up here because it would be nice to have some fruit to go along with the vegetables that we have and Then the information uh, that I gave you on the gas pipe that we're going to be putting into the cabin here I got to thinking, you know, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in that rock and of course I what I finished the rock last year. I believe it was but um, I can remember when we first went and got that click up here in the top right hand corner I talked about going and getting that over there in Western North Carolina and I didn't even have the uh, fireplace area done in there. Anyway, friends, thanks for stopping by. We certainly do appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.